Back at the second hole, third shot here at the par five for Sandra Gao. From 120 yards, it's a good line. Oh. And a good shot. This is Brandel Chambly, and it is my pleasure to take a look at the golf swing of Sandra Gall. First thing you notice is that her setup is beautiful. It's elegant. It's poised. She's put herself in a position where she can move away from the ball. So many tall players bend over a lot in a dress, probably owing to the fact that early on in their careers they couldn't find equipment to fit them. You see no sign of that in Sandra Gall. And as she moves away from the ball, she maintains that relationship that she's established in a dress pretty deep into her backswing, although the club does get a little bit to the inside. But at the top, she's got her hands in a beautiful position. They're right underneath the club, and she's in a position to where all she has to do is clear and drop her right arm down to her side, and she'll be in a position to where she can attack the ball from the inside. And that's what she does. She begins the downswing by rotating. She doesn't have the lateral shift in her lower body that I prefer but not all players do that, certainly. Laura Davies didn't do that. She's one of the best players in the history of the LPGA Tour. But like Laura Davies, when you don't get your left hip stacked up over your left leg, you are most likely going to pop up on your toes, and you see Sandra Gall doing that. But she still returns the club to the ball from the inside path. The club face never gets shut. It never gets too open. This allows Sandra Gall to have a free release through the golf ball, and it's one of the reasons why, aside from the elegance and beauty of her golf swing, it stands out on the LPGA Tour.